In this video tutorial, we demonstrate how to configure motion detection or continuous recording on your HikVision DVR or HVR using the HikConnect mobile app, perfect for situations where a TV or monitor screen is unavailable. During this configuration, ensure that your mobile phone and DVR are connected to the same modem or router's local LAN or Wi-Fi network. This is necessary for the HikConnect app to detect the DVR on the network. First, open the HikConnect app on your mobile phone. Navigate to the Device tab, then click on the plus icon and select Online Device from the available options. The app will display the IP address of the DVR connected to the LAN network. Locate your DVR device on the list, select it, and then click the Add button. Next, you'll need to enter the required details to successfully add the DVR to your HikConnect app. These details ensure that the app can connect and authenticate with your device. Alias name, enter a name that will help you easily identify the DVR on your app. For example, you can name it Home DVR or Office DVR, depending on its location or purpose. This alias will appear in your device list and make navigation simpler. Admin username, input the admin username for your DVR. By default, this username is usually set as admin unless it was changed during the initial setup. Ensure you use the correct username to avoid authentication issues. Admin password, enter the admin password for your DVR. This is the password used to log in locally via a TV or monitor or through a web browser. If the password was changed, use the updated one here. Once all fields are filled, double-check the information for accuracy. After confirming everything is correct, tap the Save button. This action will complete the process of adding the DVR to your app, allowing you to monitor and configure the device directly from your smartphone. If you are in the Live View section of the DVR, click the three dots, Camera Settings, on the upper right-hand corner of the screen. This action will take you to the Device Information page. To access additional options or perform further configurations, click the three dots located at the lower right-hand corner of the Device Information page. Then, select the Remote Configuration option. This will take you to the DVR configuration setup, where you can adjust various settings as needed. To configure recording, navigate to the Recording Schedule option in the app. Before setting up motion-based recording, ensure that the cameras have the motion detection feature enabled. To do this, tap on the Normal Event option, typically located under the Remote Configuration section. On the Normal Event page, you will see a list of cameras corresponding to the DVR channels. For example, starting with the first camera, enable the Enable Motion Detection feature. Once motion detection is activated for the camera, return to the Recording Schedule option to configure motion detection recording for that specific camera. As demonstrated above, the Channel 01 camera has been configured for continuous recording, set to operate 24-7 for all days. This is indicated by the blue bar in the recording schedule, which signifies continuous recording mode. To enable motion detection for the selected camera, click on the label Monday. You will see eight different time slots available, allowing you to split and configure the recording schedule as needed. In the example above, Continuous recording for Monday is configured from midnight to 2400 hours hours in the first time slot. For example, if we want this camera to record continuously during the night and use motion detection during the morning, we can configure the schedule accordingly. In this case, the first slot is set for midnight hours to 6 o'clock hours as continuous recording. To do this, set the start time as midnight hours, the end time as 6 o'clock hours, and select Continuous under the Select Type option. Then, click the OK button and save the configuration. Now, on Monday, recording is enabled from midnight to 6 o'clock hours as continuous recording, represented by the blue bar. To complete the recording cycle for the rest of the day, you need to configure the remaining time in the other slots. In the second slot, Configure the morning time from 6 o'clock hours to 1800 hours hours for motion detection by adjusting the start and end times. Switch the recording mode to Motion Detection under the Select Type option, then click the OK button and save the configuration. 
Now, the timeline for the label Monday will display a blue bar indicating continuous recording and a green bar representing motion detection. In the third slot, to complete the recording cycle, set the start time from 1800 hours hours to 2400 hours hours, midnight, as continuous recording. This will ensure that the camera records continuously from 1800 hours to midnight, completing the full 24-hour recording cycle for Monday. Now, we have completed the recording schedule for Monday. The camera is set to record motion detection from 6 o'clock hours to 1800 hours hours, and continuous recording for the remaining times, as demonstrated above. This ensures that the video is recorded continuously during the night and in the evening, with motion detection enabled during the daytime. If you want to apply the Monday schedule configuration to other days, simply press the Copy to button on the Monday schedule. A list of all other days will appear, allowing you to select which days you want to apply the same schedule to. Once you've selected the desired days, click the Save button to save the configuration for those days as well. The schedule for all days, except Sunday, has been configured the same as Monday as per the above demonstration. For Sunday, we want to enable motion detection recording 24-7. To do this, go to Sunday and in the first slot, where continuous recording is already set from midnight hours to 2400 hours hours, simply change the select type to motion detection. After making this change, click OK and then save the configuration. This will apply motion detection recording for the entire day on Sunday. Now, let's configure camera channel 2. First, enable motion detection for camera channel 2. To do this, go to the Normal Event section, select camera channel 2, and enable the motion detection feature. Once motion detection is enabled, return to the recording schedule to configure the recording settings for camera channel 2. For camera channel 2, the configuration is simple. We will set it to record motion detection 24-7 on Monday. Simply switch the recording mode from continuous to motion detection in the first slot for the entire day, 24-7, on Monday. This will ensure that the camera only records when movement is detected throughout the day. You can easily apply the Monday configuration to all other days by clicking the Copy to button. After that, select the days you want to apply the same configuration to, and then click Save to save the configuration for those days. This will ensure that all selected days follow the same motion detection recording schedule as Monday. For Sunday, we have kept the recording mode as continuous recording. Note, the configuration process demonstrated here can easily be applied to other cameras, allowing you to set different time slots and recording types according to your specific needs. In this demonstration, we used various time slots to enable continuous recording during certain periods and motion detection-based recording during others. This approach helps you tailor the recording schedule for each camera to match the times when you want it to be active or only trigger recording upon detecting motion. If you face any challenges while setting up different time slots for each camera, you can simplify the process by referring to the third camera's configuration. This will serve as a standard example, showing how to apply the motion detection setting across multiple cameras for all days. By following this method, you can easily configure all your cameras to record only motion detection for the entire week without having to manually adjust each camera settings from scratch. Once you have completed the configuration, you can verify the recording footage through the HitConnect app. After a few moments, navigate to the playback section in the app. In the playback section, you will see the camera listed along with a timeline displaying different colored bars. These bars represent the type of recording for each time period. The orange bar indicates motion detection-based recording, meaning the camera recorded footage due to detected movement. The blue bar represents continuous recording, showing that the camera recorded continuously according to your set schedule. The empty space on the timeline indicates no recording for that period. By reviewing these colored bars in the playback section, 
you can easily confirm whether the recording configuration for each camera has been set up correctly. This provides a quick way to ensure that motion detection and continuous recording are functioning as per your schedule. For further clarification or additional information, we invite you to explore another segment of this video series, where we provide in-depth explanations regarding Hikvision devices. In this segment, we cover essential topics such as the various types of configurations needed for your CCTV setup. If you found this video helpful, please consider supporting us by liking, sharing, or subscribing to our channel. Your support helps us create more content and provide valuable resources to our audience. Every bit of support is greatly appreciated. Thank you.